Lighting tool. Go to tools menu and choose lighting tool. The position of the light can be painted at the desired location regardless of the type of surface. Hold down Alt key during manipulation. The tool will temporarily switch to target mode which only makes sense in conjunction with the spotlight. Using shift key, the light source will be moved in the direction of the current surface. Also you can use the shift key with Alt key. Hold down control key to control brightness of the light source. Use shift plus control and the cone of light of spotlights will be varied. Click on an empty area and the light source will be created. Each new click will create an additional light. Each light will have the same settings as the previously selected light. With specular placement mode, it is possible to define exactly where the specular light should shine. The light source will be placed in such a manner that the specular light will be placed beneath the cursor position. Set active object as a camera. Go to camera's menu and choose this option to view the scene from the origin of the active object. Your view will point in the direction of the object's C-axis. When the camera position will be determined, go back to camera's menu and use the default camera. You can use this tool with any other objects but keep in mind that your view may be blocked by the active object surfaces. To avoid this, you can change display mode to lines. You can use this command to target the object and determine the reflection. But it is better to use lighting tool. Modify lights only. Deactivate this option if you want to use the lighting tool with other objects from object manager. You can use this function with softbox to define exactly where the reflection should be. If you have no lights in the project, you can go to options and choose default light. Like and subscribe if you learned something new. And thanks for watching.